All right guys, so for the past two years, I've been using candlestick charts and it wasn't until earlier this month where I started using a completely new strategy where I cannot see the normal candlesticks on my charts. And the reason I did this is because I wanted to test to see if my win rate would be higher, if I would have just better trades and ultimately make more money this month. Like I said, not using the regular candlestick charts at all. And so far, this has been one of my best trading months. I've been absolutely crushing it with this new type of chart and not just me, but a lot of my students Students have been using these as well and crushing it. So I thought I'd make a video on this and share it with you guys here on YouTube. So that being said, I'm super excited to show you what this new trading strategy is. In this video, I'll go over everything you need to know along with some trade recaps from the exact trades I took this morning using this new strategy. All right, so like I said, I have not been using the regular candlestick charts this entire month. Right now, it's currently February 22nd. And like I said, this is one of my best trading months I've had yet. And I think a lot of it is because of these new type of candles I'm actually using, okay? So what these candles are, if you haven't heard of them already, these are called Heikinashi candles. Now, if I go into my chart, we can see exactly what these look like. Uh, keep in mind, you can still have it green and red. I just have it gold and white because I want it to look cool. But as you can see, if you just go over to the style on your charts, any charting platform should have this. Just go to the style and instead of using regular candlesticks, I just chose Heikinashi candles. And I'll explain exactly why I'm using them, what they are, and some trade recaps um, in a second. Now, if I just go over to a regular candle, this is the normal candle everyone tells you to use. As you can see, it looks a lot different, right? Obviously the colors change, but that doesn't really matter. The charts look different, right? We can see during this period, there was lots of, you know, there was green, green, green. We had red, green, red, green, you know, doji candle, red. So if we look at like the first two hours of the market or so, this whole period, the first hour and a half, we can see how much different colors there are, right? There's, it goes from green to red multiple times. Now, now if we change to a Heikinashi candle chart, right? We can see it goes from that to now look at it, right? Look at that same first two hours of the market, right? We can see that it stays the same color. So this gold is really green, right? So it stays green this entire time besides two candles, right? And typically when we go down, it stays red or it stays white in my case scenario. When we go up, it stays green, right? When we go down, it stays white. So especially on the five minute chart, it's a much more consistent chart. It doesn't move around with colors so much, right? Typically once we change colors, right? We're gonna continue going up. So why should you actually use Heikinashi candles? So the first thing is, like I said, it helps you hold your trades longer. So if we get in on a reversal, right? A trend pullback, let's say, a lot of times you can hold the trade until it switches colors. So it helps you hold the trade longer, right? Because again, Heikinashi candles, if you don't know, it takes the average of the past two candles and it factors in volume, right? So just because we slightly didn't went down on one of the candles, doesn't mean the color is gonna change. The structure is still gonna look like an uptrend where a regular candlestick chart, it might look like a red candle just because the last minute or last 10 seconds of the candle, we sold off a bunch, right? And now it looks like the trade's going down. Then it just gets bought back right up again. I'm sure you see this all the time where with the Heikinashi candles, it doesn't do that, right? It stays more consistent because it averages the past two candles and it factors in our volume. Now, the second reason to use this is it's just smoother charts. Um, like I said, once it changes the color, it'll typically stay that color. Once it changes the, the color again, it typically will stay that color. So the charts just look smoother, they're smoother price action. I think it's a more accurate representation of what price is actually doing. So I just covered this, basically the way these candles work, the way they're formed and structured is it uses volume and the average of past two candles. So there's less noise, right? So nowadays, um, you know, there's lots of algorithms and a lot of times, you know, these algorithms will hunt for stop losses. So it'll go down really fast. It'll get bought up really quick, right? So when you're using Heikinashi candles and it averages the past two candles and it factors in volume, right? It's a more accurate representation of what the price is doing. It's kind of like looking on a higher time frame without actually looking on a higher time frame. And anyways, the last thing I put on here is the reason I like to use these and how I've been using them is it makes for an extra confirmation before entering your trades, right? So basically I'm looking for a very specific candle structure using these Heikinashi candles that acts as a confirmation to actually enter the trade, right? Press buy. So now let me actually show you guys some trade recaps from the trades I took this morning using these Heikinashi candles and this will make way more sense to you, okay? So if I go to the two trades that I took today, as we can see, um, total I made around $2,400 
and we'll go to this first trade where I made 800. As you can see, I ended up entering this trade at around 807 my time, which is 1007 Eastern time. So let me go over to the charts here and we can see what the candles look like, right? These are the normal candlestick charts. So we can see kind of the way I'm trading is I wanna look at the main trend, right? This is what matters first with these Heikinoshi candles. I wanna look at what the trend is. Obviously the trend has been up these past few days. Um, so I knew I was looking for longs when the market opened, right? So as you see when market opened, we started trending up and then we have this big pullback, right? So this is on a five minute time frame. So what I'm looking for is I'm waiting for us to go up. I want us to pull back to a level and then look for a certain candle and then get in. So we make some new highs. Okay. That's basically the setup I took today. So let me go into the one minute time frame so we can see kind of what the price action did better. Um, so as we can see, if we go over to 10.07 my time, uh, what happened here, market open, we pulled back straight to our level. We could have got in on one of these candles and rode this thing up to new highs. The reason I didn't get in here is because the market just opened. I typically don't like to trade the first 30 minutes. So I decided to wait. What happened here is we broke new highs, right? And then we pulled back. Now, again, that's the second part of my setup. I want to identify the trend and I want to wait for a pullback to a level. And then I want to get in after a big Heikinoshi candle with the opposite color. So once we pull back here, I'm looking for a big gold candle, right? So let me zoom in a little bit more just so you guys can see better. And ideally what I want to look for is I want to see a big candle with a fat body, a wick at the top and no wick at the bottom if I'm going long. Okay. So it's a little bit different from the normal candlestick charts, right? So I want to see something like this, but as you can see, this candle is very small, right? I want to see a big candle. So as you can see, I didn't get to take any trades here because these all had wicks at the bottom. Again, I want to see a candle with no wick. And eventually we started pulling back here. We formed a little double bottom in our support. So this gave me an extra confirmation to take the trade. And once we saw this candle right here, these two candles, this is where I went ahead and entered the trade long, right? So I was able to get in around right here. As you can see, this is a big candle up. We had no wick at the bottom. So once I got in here at around 1925 or so, I was able to put my stop just below this candle, right? So with this setup, you don't have to put your stop below the lows like you would with normal candlestick charts. What I do is I put my stop right below this candle. So I'm still able to risk a very small amount of money. So anyways, I got in around here and I was able to trim some here. At this point, I was up around uh, 15, 20 points or so. I wanted to see us break the highs. Obviously we never got there. We kind of ended up pulling back and then we tested it again. Then we pulled back, we tested it again. So the fact that we kept failing told me to exit the trade. I did hold runners. Um, so I trimmed most of my trade up here and then I held runners and I got stopped out at break even um, on this pullback right here. So this is why on this trade, I only made around $800. You can see where I exited, exited at around 46, 48. And then lastly at 34 near where I entered. And by the way, guys, if you're wondering where I get these levels from, as you can see, when the market opened, we had a clear resistance level. We had clear support level, clear resistance up here. As you can see, um, price is stalling out on this resistance level. If you guys want to see exactly where I get my levels, I post them inside my discord group every single day for completely free. So if you just go in the discord, as you can see, if you go over to trading plan, you'll see I post my levels on the S and P 500 and the NASDAQ market every single day right before the market opens. So if you think this would be helpful and you guys want to see my levels every single day, like I said, this community is completely free and open to the public and we'd love to have you inside. If you guys do want to join, all you have to do is click on the first link in the description below this video. All right, so before I go over the next trade I took today using these Heikinoshi candles, another thing I want you to know, kind of the reason why I trimmed this position early, right? Not only because we weren't making new highs anymore, but one thing you really want to see with these candles is you want to see them consistently make higher highs and higher lows. Um, and on the flip side, you want to see lower highs and lower lows. So you want to see the trend form with these candles. So we can see like when we have this uptrend, every single candle had a new high, a higher low, right? So new high, higher low, new high at the top of this wick. We had a higher low from this candle. And then once this stalled out, this is where price got choppy and I would start, you know, trimming my position, protecting my profits a little bit more. Then we had a new uptrend, right? We had higher highs, higher low, higher highs, higher low. So this is what you want to see during these trade, right? This is kind of how you want to use these candles. You can see on this one, we had a lower high, a lower low, 
a lower high, a lower low, okay? So this is kind of how you wanna manage the trade using these candles, is looking at that trend that the candles form, and if it starts stalling out, right, this is where you can start protecting your profits. All right, so let's go and go to the next trade here. So if I go to the next trade, as you can see, this one made me 1,600. I was trading five contracts on in Q, And as we can see where we entered here, um, this is actually a nice trade I was able to get. As you can see, I entered at around 9.06 my time, which is around 11.06 Eastern time. And I was able to ride this thing up to um, our new high level, right, uh, way up here. So anyways, we go over to the chart here, as you can see. So this is my original trade, right? We came up here, I was able to trim up on these highs and then I got stopped out in my runners. This eventually ended up working out and we did break the highs. I didn't catch this because we did have news and I didn't want to put a trade on right when news was coming out. So anyways, I stayed patient. We waited for this pullback and if you're wondering, well, Chad, why didn't you get short here? Because again, I want to trade with the trend, right? The trend was going up. I only want to focus on taking long setups. So Anyways, wait for the pullback. We eventually started seeing some other candles near this support level. And as you can see, now I'm basically just looking for a big candle, right? I'm looking for a big candle with no bottom wick and ideally have some elevated volume. We didn't really see it till right here. As you can see, we have a big candle right here. Volume was starting to get elevated. So once this candle closed, this is where I actually entered the trade. Um, I actually got a really bad entry. I believe I entered at 37. So if we look on here, let's see. Yeah, my entry was around 37. So I got in during this candle right at 37. And where did I put my stop, right? Going back to what I said earlier, we put our stop right below the bottom of the candle. So I had my stop at around 16. As you can see, we kind of came down a little bit, got bought up. And then once we broke these new highs, right, we can see what are these candles doing? they're making higher highs and higher lows, right? This way we wanna see. So we had um, a new high on this candle. Next candle had a higher low, had a higher high. Then we start stalling out a little bit, right? So once we start stalling out, I start trimming some of my position. So I probably trim half of my position here. We started making new highs again. We had this pattern and we eventually broke this entire resistance level, right? Or we came right to this resistance level. And this is where I completely got out of my position, especially when I saw this candle, the color started to change. And you can see, I started trimming up along the way and fully got out near the top. And this is how I made 1600 bucks on this trade. And I was able to walk away for the day after those two trades. So anyways, guys, this is how I'm using the Heikinashi candles. This is a little bit different than the regular candlestick charts. I like them a lot more. I think it really helps with keeping the chart smoother. You can hold your trades longer and it actually will increase your win rate because you're waiting for that extra confirmation while risking the same amount of points since you can put your stop right below the candle that you got in on. So let me know what you guys think of these Heikinashi candles. Let me know if you're going to try them out. A lot of my students have been crashing it using them, including myself as well. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments. Real quick before you do go, like I said, if you guys wanna join my Discord community, it's completely free and open to the public. I post my levels in here every single day for the S&P 500 and NASDAQ. I also post my trade recaps, and we also have a community where you can network and talk with other traders as well. So if you guys do wanna join this community, like I said, we'd love to have you inside. It's completely free and open to the public, no charges at all. All you have to do to join is go to the first link in the description below this video or just head over to this link right here. That being said, guys, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one with another day trading lesson.